All right, so today I am going to prune my standard rose. It needs to be done now, it's November. The autumn winds are gonna be blowing and it'll be rocking it and it's gonna get damaged. So we need to get down, uh, reduce the, the amount of foliage down so it doesn't get damaged in the wind. So you follow the same principles of any uh, rose. You wanna create that goblet shape. The only problem here is we're doing it on a single stem up in the air. So you follow the same rules of congestion and uh, damage stems first, and then we just create that goblet shape. So I'm gonna get stuck in there, and then I'll show you how it get on. So before you start any rose pruning, it's worth just having a little five minutes, just looking around and get and imagine what uh, the shape you're trying to produce. So you can see this is a standard rose. You've got the main stem coming up here with the budded stems put on there. And that's the sort of area you wanna keep, and you wanna create that goblet shape that I often talk about inside here. So what I'm gonna look at, look at what the, sort of the stems I wanna keep, which ones I want, and you wanna, you wanna follow the same principles that we would do with a hybrid tea, and keep about five or so stems um, with an outward facing bud. So I'm gonna get stuck in and start pruning, and I'll show you the results soon. So here we go, stems all cut down. Looks drastic, but I promise you this is what you need to do. Cut down, all pruned, so we leave a bud on the outward facing so i've got one two three four five six stems this time that's fine that's not good so all done and that will come lovely in the spring